So today I'm just south of Waco in the lovely little historic town of Salado, Texas. This area was first settled in 1850 with the stage line coming through two years later. The town was founded with the formation of Salado College in 1859. In 1884, shortly after the railroad bypassed the town, the college closed for good. But you can still explore the ruins today at a park on the south end of town. The cattle drives along the Chisholm Trail pass through this town and often stopped at the Stagecoach Inn, which is one of the oldest hotels in all of Texas. There are a total of 19 locations on the National Register of Historic Places in this small town. So join me as I go for a tour of this lovely place in Central Texas. So now we're entering the ruins of Salado College. Really nice looking park. Lovely place to go for a stroll and explore. So ESC Robertson was one of the early settlers of this area and he helped found Salado College. So here's the Stagecoach Inn, former stop along the Chisholm Trail and considered to be the oldest continuously running hotel in Texas. So the Stagecoach Inn was originally called the Shady Villa and was built in the year 1860. This is a really lovely place on the inside. And just around the corner here, Today you can dine in the same room where Sam Houston stayed. All right, so let's head upstairs. See what we've got up here. Gorgeous clear water stream flowing right through the middle of town here. You've got to get your feet wet if you come to Salado. So cool and refreshing. So this is the site of the Davis Mill, built in 1864. Right next to the creek. So here is an interesting historic looking home. Home of Orville Thomas Tyler, president of the Board of Trustees of Salado College, built in 1857. Looks like this home is being restored right now. It is definitely a historic treasure that should be preserved. This is the old Anderson place, another historic home built in the year 1860. He was one of the founders of Salado. So here's another 1860 building used as a store, a law office, a saloon, a stagecoach stop. So appearing through the trees is the lovely Inn at Salado bed and breakfast. This is such a charming little town. So this bed and breakfast is also known as the Norton Organg House, built in 1872.
Next, we're gonna stop at the gorgeous Barton House established in 1866. So next, we're gonna check out the historic Dodds Creek Bridge. So this lovely bridge was built in the late 1800s. And it's a nice little detour as you're walking through town. So this is the lovely 1885 Victory House now serves as the antique rose of bell really nice looking historic home now serves as a very charming antique shop so next i'm here at the historic baines house bed and breakfast the george washington baines house built in the 1860s he was the great grandfather of president lyndon johnson this charming historic home would definitely be a nice quiet place to stay, a little off the beaten path. But it's also an easy walking distance from all the main attractions in town. Next we have the historic Bowles Aiken Log Cabin. I hope I pronounced that right. Really nice. This is amazing. This cabin was discovered in 1986 inside a house being torn down on Center Circle in Salado. I cannot believe this place was hidden inside the walls of another building for decades. And we've got another cabin back here called the Writer's Cabin. So this was built in the year 1867 by M.H. Denman. This is a very lovely little spot in town and I imagine that it's often overlooked by visitors. Don't miss it. And right next door to these historic cabins you do have an important little cemetery. So just outside Salado are two of the most important archaeological sites in all of North America. I think I'm at the right location. You have the Galt Archaeological Site. You can visit the website for tour dates about once a month. It was excavated in 1998 with a Clovis horizon, once believed to be the first humans in North America around 13,000 years ago. And right next door is the Buttermilk Creek Complex, this one is around 15,500 years old and predates the Clovis peoples. Due to its local water source, abundance of chert and wood for making tools, this was an ideal location for early humans in this area. And I think it's just a little bit further down this gravel road. Now I would like to have toured these sites myself, but my current schedule doesn't give me a lot of flexibility to visit these sites right now. But maybe one day.